What do you think? Dude, this thing is impressive. It looks <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Insane. It looks a lot bigger than the other one, doesn't it? I don't oh, know yeah. why, way but it just longer. does. It's like, dude, this thing is way longer. It's, it's longer, right? I think so. I think I think it's definitely got to be a little bit longer, yeah. This thing looks good. Really good, dude. <laughs> Son. Now, I brought her back just so you can give it a good wash. <laughs> oh, shoot. I want to see this thing light up. It's dirty, dirty. Well, it'll get dark here before we head out today, so you'll have time to see it all lit up. Shoot, son. All right, guys, we're back to the shop. Made it home. No hiccups. Everything went great. And what's crazy is this fuel tank isn't turned on or something, so there's not even fuel draining out of this one, right? Yeah, it's like pretty much lap full. So this thing made it all the way home on less than half a tank of that side, which is crazy to me. So pretty nuts. But uh, we're home. We get this thing washed up and uh, start going through it. All right, so now we're back at the shop, safe and sound. Uh, we've got the pressure washer out, legs getting the ladder. We're going to get this thing all washed up because it is dirty and covered in like... I don't know if it's salt or just nastiness from the roads driving down. This thing was beautiful when we picked it up, and you can see how nasty it got. So rolling time lapse. You guys check it out. Well, guys, Lake got the old skin yeah, all cleaned up. This thing looks great. Now I'm going to pull it in the shop. We're going to open the cab up on it and do a deep dive. Start making lists of every little thing it needs because I'm going to Finland on the 12th through the 19th of December. I'm going to fill a 20-foot container full of Scania parts and ship it back here to the U.S. for both of these trucks um, and get this thing in tip-top shape so we know every little thing we need. It's on its way here. We're gonna be stretching the frame. Lots of lots of things going on this truck. We're gonna get pulled in just in a second. We'll talk about all that and uh, get the cab lifted up and look at the engine underneath the hood of this bird. All right, so now I got this truck pulled inside. I do wanna point out a few things. So I'll throw some pictures up on the screen here. This truck was actually wrecked on this side where that door is. So some of the stuff doesn't line up perfectly. And these are some parts. You can kind of see where it's bent. We're going to need to get and ship back home from Finland. Like including like this fender here. Look, looks a little busted and not pretty. Um, so yeah, right here you can see where some fiberglass work was done. Um, got a few things we're going to need to tackle to make this thing where I want it to be at. And show quality, show ready. But for now, we've got it all opened up again. The front grill just sits down in there and it just comes right out which is really cool so we got it pulled off it's sitting over there out of the way time to uh start jacking this cab up i've got the cab jack handle from our other scanny here which I'm, this one may have one somewhere in a cab i don't know i didn't look for it but you guys know the deal this is going to take a minute so hold tight and start jacking this thing up all right so we got the cab open on this bird and we've got some issues now raymond Said it had a coolant leak somewhere. He said he thought it was around the water heater somewhere, but it looks like we may have a blown head gasket, which isn't favorable, but it's not the end of the world because on these, Scania designed these heads to be removed one at a time, which is amazing. Great idea. So if we end up having to do a head gasket on it, it's not using coolant. It's just has, you can see where it's seeping just a little bit there. We can, um, you know, replace one's head gasket at a time. Got a couple valve cover gaskets leaking. 
Um, everything looks pretty solid. See, like, my other truck didn't have any of the, like, the original rubber trim here. Like, we could replace that stuff. Um, some of the heat shield and stuff in there could be replaced whenever we go to start making this thing brand new and pretty again. The hydraulic cylinder that lifts the, uh, cab up and down, obviously, is leaking. I think that right there is actually supposed to be down inside that cylinder there, but it's not leaking that bad. But it is, of course, leaking some. Moving on to this side of the truck, um, I don't really see too many issues. Some people said don't idle the truck at night, use this little heater thing here. Well, it doesn't work that I know of, so I've got to maybe try to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything looks like it's in pretty solid shape all the way around. Um, it's just a normal valve cover gaskets leaking here and there, nothing crazy. The AC doesn't work, and I knew that buying it. So here's a new AC condenser here because he said the other one had a hole in it. But also, I'm just now noticing that the AC compressor does not spin. So I'm going to put a wrench on that AC compressor right there and see if I can get it to turn. If it doesn't, we're going to have to order a new air compressor because here in Florida, we're going to go do some videos of this thing before we tear it apart and start building it and painting it blue. Uh, we got to have working air conditioner. All right, so climbed up here on top of the truck. Good news is our AC compressor, as you can see, turns just fine. It sounds a little dry. You maybe hear it here. But good news is it's not bad. Like so. I said, it's good news. The AC compressor spins. That means it's not in bad shape. It's most likely salvageable. There's probably some moisture in the system. It's not going to be happy, but we're in good shape. Our leak on the cylinder head here seems to be an actual head gasket leak. So on these, the gaskets will actually rot over time and leak on the outside of the cylinder heads from what I'm learning. Um, so it's something that's to be concerning, but it's not like the end of the world. We need to keep an eye on it. Because I looked inside the valley of the engine, I didn't see any water or anything inside there. So it's just seeping right there. I don't see any other visible leaks anywhere. The other Overall, this truck's in really, really great shape underneath the cab here. I don't really see any rot. I don't see where the cab has had to be repaired. Like our cab has been repaired up here where the cab lifts because it was broken on the other truck. This one seems to be in good shape still. Um, there's not a bunch of wires ran anywhere, everywhere from where... Everybody and their brothers owned it at some point. Um, some of the older pictures I did find of the truck, so it was a 164, it's not, it's a 144. So um, I'll show you the engine tag here. So right there is our engine tag, a DSC 14. So that's a 14 liter engine from what I've learned and did some research on. Um, the AC condenser is underneath the front here, so we'll have to fold the cab back down. Uh, but just kind of inspecting things, I don't really see anything that's too concerning. We may go ahead and just drain oil. Raymond did give me a spare oil filter, so maybe we'll go ahead and do an oil change on it while we've got the cab lifted up. Um, we don't have to have the cab lifted up to change the oil, but um, it does help. So, well, I guess we do need to, to be able to get to the oil filter there. But other than that, everything seems to be in pretty solid shape. Um, you know, there's surface rust here and there, but everything's really nice. And the truck did used to be blue, which is crazy used to be blue and it's going back blue or maybe the cab was blue or something i'm not sure but it's going back yeah you can see like little hints of blue everywhere um the steering box is leaking a little bit so it might be a little low on power steering fluid because it did kind of groan a little bit um but it's just nice to see airlines that are all still in really great shape um under the cab of this thing um we are gonna have to get a fender replacement here and a couple other pieces here and there but Good bones, good truck to start with. Um, this one does have that grease system on there. I need to do some more research and learn about this thing um, and how it works because it's a mess down in there, but I do want to learn about it and I've got to learn about it because I want to know everything there is to know about these trucks. I want to learn about them and be the knowledge here in the US about scanning your trucks when it comes to working on them too. So that being said, I guess we'll Grab the oil filter out of the inside, drain the oil out of it, get some fresh oil put in it, and uh, get the cab back down, see about getting the air conditioner fixed up. Had to let the, uh, kill the batteries on it, so I'm gonna kill the batteries, master power switch there, so let that axle back down. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to go get Enter to Win, blue collar the cab over in 5,000 bucks in cash. We are about to be tearing into this thing full freaking bore. I've got a rebuild kit here, right there on the ground. Uh, we've got brand new stacks and boxes here. All kinds of sweet parts to go on blue collar right here. Got tires that'll be here first of next week for the four rear tires need to be replaced on it. 
Interior's been completely detailed and clean by my boys. I mean, looking fresh in there. All you gotta do is go to brucewilsonshop.com. Every dollar spent on the website gets you entered. Something as simple as our make trucking great again hats. And we do have some brand new hats that are going on the website in limited quantities. Let me show you this to you right now. So right here are our brand new hats, our flat bill. We got the little guy, you can in, in, you know guess what this means, D-O-T here. Blue collar trucking hat with the leather patch. Also a regular trucker hat with the D-O-T patch on that. These are all leather made right here in house. We've got our own laser machine and it's actually running over here, making some runs of these, getting them ready to go on the website right now. So here's our laser machine we bought running off these patches right there, going to freaking town. We got our own table all set up, figuring it out. A lot of uh, YouTubers use other companies to do all their merch printing. I mean, we have a lot of other people do our printing, but fulfillment, things like that, we do everything ourselves. And we're trying to do things that are new and different. So that's why we come out with this line of hats here. Again, they're at the website now, brucewilsonshop.com. Every dollar spent gets you entered to win this cab over semi truck, 5,000 bucks in cash. And you have until December 8th at midnight. It's coming up close, less than 10 days away. All right, so other than this engine having an oil filter, we learned this on our other Scania. This thing has got what's called a centrifuge that spins the oil out in a big old circle and makes all the contaminants stick to the sides and fall down. It kind of cleans the oil. So look how clean this one is, right? Compared to our other <laughs> engine when we took it apart, which was disgusting. So get this thing picked up out of here and uh, we'll take this centrifuge apart here. Inside there looks actually really, really clean. Crazy how much cleaner this engine is compared to our other one. All right, so we're gonna get this cover off our centrifuge here. It's like we're over here doing uh, medical work or something. But that right there, this thing should just snap apart. Should. Just like that. I'm just a qualified Scania mechanic now. See, it's got all this buildup in here. I need to get out because it's dirty. This one's just as bad as our other one, actually. It probably hasn't been cleaned in a long time, so we're gonna get all of this soot built up. I wish we had like everything to rebuild it, but we don't here right now, but look at all that. It's nastiness. And you always wanna see how nasty that is. Watch when we start scraping this stuff out. That is slud sludge. Time to get our parts washer clean again too, huh? Yeah. That's right. We'll get all this stuff broke loose, clean it up with some brake clean. Be looking brand new and clean again. Just like that, guys, our centrifuge is all clean, put back together. We're gonna set it right down in here in its home. Give it a test spin and uh, put the cap back on. Whenever I visit uh, Finland, I'll bring back a whole service kit for this truck and we'll uh, do a full in-depth service of every little nook and cranny and piece of this truck. Tighten that cap back down on there. And we'll uh, change that engine oil filter next. Ah, that boy is on there. Good Just like the last Lord, one. Dude. We have terrible luck with filters, I swear. Raymond, I'm about to get on him. I know he's gonna watch this video for not putting a filter on some oil on the seal. <laughs> Jeez. That took a lot of effort. All right, yeah, look how dry it is. Uh, one oil filter coming out, new one going in. We're gonna fill this one up full of oil though before we put it back in there. Got some hot shot secrets, semi synthetic. Get this filter filled up. 
some of nothing but the best and uh, get her reinstalled. Go for that engine full of oil. Now to keep from making that filter hard to get off next time we coat that seal with some oil, we'll put her down in his home. Been looking for where a cab jack was. Our other one probably doesn't have it if I had to guess. I'll be surprised if it does, but, but there it is. Sweet. That's interesting. So, well, I guess we'll close the cab back down because this AC condenser, we need to do with the cab folded back down and we can get to everything pretty much with the cab folded down. So, uh, yeah, and we can fill it up full oil with the cab folded down. Is that a step? <laughs> Dude, no looks idea. like one. So you can clean your windshield, I guess. I wonder if our other one does that. That's gotta be a step. Yeah. Step on it. Don't... <laughs> no shit, it's a step. That's sweet. Dude, that was nuts. That's insane. All right, we just gotta finish getting this cover off here. And uh, we'll be able to get to our AC condenser, get it removed. We can get some AC working in this bird. Maybe. Nope, we need a torque spit right there, too. Because step to work on our junk. Pretty nifty, eh? Yeah. Eh? There's one side down. Here we go. Now I just need to pull this condenser out of there. It's like 13 or 12. 13. What size is that, Ryan? You don't know. 12. Sure. Oh, well, that ain't good. Pressure sensor is like non existent. I don't see a wire for it. Maybe it's not needed. I don't know. I guess we about to find out, aren't we? I guess so. We'll get these lines removed off of here. Probably the original stuff. I don't even see a wire that would have went to that pressure sensor anywhere. Hmm. We need to go check our other one out front, I guess, and see. Good thing we got another truck around here to yeah. check things. Got a little workbench here. Shoot. That ain't good stuck in there hmm all right well we got those lines out now we'll just uh get this condenser out of here Yeah, that's definitely it. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I've done this once or twice. Oh, be careful. Oh. The top piece up there is getting stuck. Look at all that nastiness. I see this thing's leaking somewhere. I don't know where, but... It does look kind of wet down here in the corner. All right, well, we'll get all this cleaned out and get our new one put back on there. So look at this one. There's a sensor there with plugs on it. That's interesting. That goes up here. But that plug looks different. The sensors look different there. Hmm. Everything about this truck looks a little different. It doesn't look everything exactly the same, like where the intercooler is at. And, huh. Does it have a step? No step because it folds down right there, so wow. that's different also. I mean, it could have been just been spec differently, but look, there's no jacking rod there either, so that explains a lot. All right, so 
You see this wire it follows and goes all the way up back into there. I don't see anything else, so. All right, let's go compare the other one. All right, so I don't see, all right, there's a plug right there, look. Huh, interesting. So we'll call Raymond and see, hey, has AC ever worked in this thing? No. But we found a plug and there's also a sensor out there in that one, which we're never worried about AC working. We might get hot wire or something because this condenser over here, we've got a brass plug we're gonna have to pull out. So it seems like that might be what we're gonna have to do. Well, it's a good thing we got a parts truck out here, the old other scan, yeah. So uh, the other condenser was missing a, a sensor completely. It was there, but it was rotted, but there were no wires. So this one's got the wire here. We're never gonna use the air conditioner in this truck, like ever. So I figured, hey, we'll just rob all the thing off this truck that we need <laughs> to get the AC system working properly. So we get all these wires cut, get them snaked out of here and uh, get it over there to the other truck. We're gonna get this condenser installed with this switch there. If I can get this plug to come undone. Thing is like in there son well we may have to get a pick but for now we can maybe get this one undone maybe maybe so this sensor right here uses this a specialty socket and thankfully I've got one that works very special socket there so it's coming out of that pressure block just fine. We have to replace the O-ring on it or something, but... Oh, oh. I swear. What luck. Now I pray it's not cracked or broken underneath the truck. Or that it didn't mess up the threads. Yeah, that too. If it didn't go all the way to the back. Right here it is. So let's hope it's the same sensor that goes in the other one. Alright, we're gonna get this plug unplugged, we'll go get the other one assembled. Alright, so we got our condenser set in here with these switch and some of these other parts we robbed off the other Scania. We've got the wiring harness that will plug into this plug under here that's hidden. So hopefully that takes care of issues. The only thing I'm worried about is inside this line there, there's quite a bit of rust where moisture's been in there for a long time. So I'm worried about that. Nothing we can really do other than just hope that everything works we're going to vacuum it down and see what happens if it holds a vacuum then we'll charge it and fingers crossed that it works all right and just like that we're about to have a sensor there that wasn't there when we started thanks to our parts scanning out there boom all right time to hook our vacuum pump up to these fittings right here and uh start batching them down So before I forget about it, we got this brand new air filter here that we got from our friends, yeah, Yol Molova. I'm gonna learn how to say their name when I visit them in a few weeks, but we'll put it in here. I robbed it out of the other out of the other Scania. So get that boy put in there and get this covered back up for now. But uh, it's a slight problem now. So uh, our fitting here that I was gonna pull out and just check the straighter valve just broke and fell apart. But it looks like we can get one off the other truck out there. So I guess we'll go try to get the one off the other truck first. Then come back here and install it on this one. A little rusty looking. Oh yeah, that one's like a million bucks. It's bigger style too. Okay, so that one looks good. This line is just a little rusty, but that's not the end of the world. Okay. No, nothing's breaking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got a get this stuff loose out of here it looks like we need a 10 millimeter short socket with a quarter inch extension Ooh. i don't know guys we're getting pretty close on some of this stuff being in real bad shape that's froze up ah dang it so i don't know anyone in the history of anyone ever who has successfully drilled out a schrader valve 
because we went out there to pull the other line off and it was froze up right there so i was like screw it let's go try to drill it out if it breaks then we know we still gotta change the line out anyways but dude i cannot believe that i did this i may be speaking too soon why isn't it coming out there it goes uh, maybe i'm speaking too soon Maybe I'm speaking too soon. I don't know. Shoot. Why is nothing coming loose? All right, so we've been doing some rigotry going on here with the Scania. So the Schrader valve, we thought we successfully drilled out. We didn't. We can't get the line off the other truck out there. So I ended up getting one of these things you just kind of screw a can onto and putting it on there and filling the system. And it's keeping this line sealed for now until I can get a new line ordered and get it here. Um, other than that, the AC is working. It's cold. You can see all the condensation dripping off of everything from everywhere. So AC is functioning and working uh, even though it is rigged up. Lake is over here right now getting the low side solenoid swapped out so we got the solenoid off of the other truck we're going to put it on this one so we don't really need low side on that truck really um we need low side on this one we're actually going to use this truck in a christmas parade tomorrow night here in town so we're going to be getting his he's in there swapping that valve out right now well folks back up here the next morning once again get working on the scan you are getting it ready for the christmas parade so the high and low part of the transmission after all that swapping around swapping the valve out doing all this stuff still didn't work started doing some voltage testing found out that there was like only six volts making it back there to the plug that activates the um, shift valve and come to find out the gearbox relay was bad and thankfully we swapped that out of our scan you outside or other one and i uh, got this guy working so i'm about to go test drive it now make sure we've got good low range in it so we can get it hooked up to our trailer because we're using it for the christmas parade <laughs>
We made it to the Christmas parade. Everything's lit up, ready to rip. We forgot our inflatable tractor, but we'll use that for next weekend at the Dade City Christmas Parade. Today is the Zephyr Hills Christmas Parade. Needless to say, we need to get here like an hour later than we did because we've been hanging around. It is super freaking hot, but what a way just to carry out this video. We've had some banger videos the past couple days with our Scandian here all dressed up and in the Christmas Parade. It's crazy because literally a week ago, almost ex exactly a week ago, I was in Canada and a Otterville, Canada Christmas Parade. So here we are. Thanks for everybody making this possible without all of you. We know would not have another scan yet. But everybody on the channel, all the support we've had, we would not have a road ready freaking unit. I do have something else I need to mention. Our AC is leaking. Oh God. I can smell Freon inside the cab. So we've got an AC leak somewhere. So when I do go to Finland, which I'm going to Finland, on December 12th. I'm gonna try to ship back basically every single component for this for the air conditioning system. Can you see me okay? Yeah. So, if you haven't already guys, go to brucewilsonshop.com here to win the cab over. Don't forget, it is December 8th at 11.59 p.m. Something as simple as our make trucking great again hack can have you taken home that cab over at 5,000 bucks in cash. Let's get back to Christmas parade.